In a previous video, I said that I would never tell a player not to use side, but I would tell him not to use side unnecessarily. I stand by that trait statement. Having said that, judging by some of the comments and the questions that I'm being asked on the channel, uh, players are obviously intrigued by its use. So let's see if we can uh, just expand on what we're talking about when we talk about side. One of the questions that people don't fully understand is about running side and check side. So let's just have a look at that for a start. If my white ball is going to travel in that direction, yeah, to increase that speed and angle, I will need to apply right hand side. That will increase the angle it comes off there, increase the speed that it comes off. That is what we call running side. It's going with the trajectory of the cue ball. Check side is just the opposite. So if it's going in that direction, in this instance, check side would be left hand side. I have retarded the angle that's come off and I have retarded the speed. Okay, so I hope that clears that up. Running side increases the angle, increases the speed. Check side retards the angle and retards the speed. Here we have a shot where the object is to pop the red in the corner pocket, come off the cushion and back here for the blue in the centre pocket. Now most players, and I will include top professionals in this, would prefer to play that with a little touch of right hand side. We'll explain why in a little while, but I emphasise a little touch of right hand side. Visualise the shot, do your pre-shot routine. and up for the blue in the centre pocket. Why do they use that right hand side? Well, let's just have a look at it for a start. Here, I've got a single red. Plain ball shot, I'm gonna screw off that red, just a matter of six or seven inches. So I'm just screwing off the red. All right, now, if I apply the same amount of effort into it. Here I've got two reds. So there's more resistance there, okay? More resistance, that cue ball will come back off those two reds easier than it did off one. Likewise, if I have three reds, right? Again, more resistance. Okay, more resistance. The white ball will again come back easier off three reds than it would off two, than it would off one. Simply because there's more resistance. So the same amount of physical effort and the white ball comes back very, very easily. How does that affect this shot? Well, let's just have a look at it. When I play this shot, and I apply a little touch of running side, what will happen, yes, the white ball will get pushed marginally to the left, and I need to make an allowance for that in my aim. But if you remember back to one of my other videos, when we applied side, this object ball got kicked one way or the other. So here, I'm play, applying right hand side. That object ball is going to get kicked to the left very slightly. Because it's getting kicked to the left very slightly, it allows me to hit slightly more of it. Because I'm hitting slightly more of it, there is more resistance. One red, two reds, three reds more resistance. Here, granted, I've only got one red, 
But if I play it plain ball, I'm going to be eating less of it. If I play it with right hand side, I'm going to be eating more of it. Because I'm eating more of it, more resistance. So I can get off it a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, with less physical effort. Because I'm using less physical effort, there's a chance that I will have less errors. Very important. So here, because I'm applying right hand side to the cue ball, it will get pushed to the left. As a result of that, I've got to make an allowance in my aim. I've also got to allow for the red getting kicked to the left. So from there, I make that allowance, and only experience will teach me that. Again, I visualize the shot. A little touch of right hand side, and I come back for the blue. So here you see that I potted the red, come off the cushion, and up for the blue. The side has allowed me to play that shot with less physical effort. If I'd have played that plain ball, which you can still do, and some players would prefer to do that, I would need to have a little bit more pace into the shot. Whilst we're on the subject of side, I want to try and show you the effects that it can have. Now here I've set up three balls, the blue on its spot, the red's preventing me from potting the blue directly. I've also put a little mark on the, on the table here where I can put the white back in its proper position. So here, I try, with a plain ball shot, I'm getting as close to the red as I possibly can to try and pot the blue. And I, you'll see that I can't quite pot the blue. Look where it's going. Just slightly missing the pocket. Now, if I put those balls back, put the blue back on its spot, and the white on the, on the mark that I've just made. Here, I'm now going to try and pot that blue with right hand side. Now, the right hand side will push the white to the left a little, which means I can sort of aim for the edge of the red, but because I'm going to push it that way, I will ultimately miss the red. The right hand side will then have a, a kick reaction on the blue and kick it to the left. So I should be able to pot the blue. So here, right hand side on the cue ball, played very gently, aiming for the edge of the red, bearing in mind that the right hand side will push the cue ball left and miss the red, and then hopefully kick the blue into the pocket. That just shows you uh, that there is more to side than meets the eye. It's intricate, it's, co it's complicated. The effects differ from table to table. From the atmospherics make things slightly different. Only experience can teach you how much to allow on these things. I can't teach you, all I can give you is the knowledge. It's down to you now to go and practice these things so that you, you know what you can and you cannot do, relevant to your ability. Just emphasising how people are intrigued by the use of side. I'm always being asked about screwing back rever reverse side. Let's have a, a, a closer look at it. Here, I've got a straight black. And if I play that shot with screw and play it as a plain ball screw shot, let's see where the white will go. So from here, just a plain ball screw shot. And you'll see that the white is going towards where the pink goes. If I play that shot now with left hand side, this is what they call the reverse side shot. Now, I play it with left hand side. Bearing in mind the cue ball will get pushed to the right, I need to allow for that in my aim. Now, because I'm having to 
screw back a fair distance, there will be very little kick on the object ball. The speed that I will have to play the shot will eliminate that kick. So I have got to make the allowance of just get, when the white gets pushed to the right. So here, it's getting pushed to the right, I will need to make allowances, right? So roughly I'm aiming here to pop the red there. Now I say roughly because the better I hit the ball, the less I will have to allow. I've, I've stated this on my other video. I can't tell you how much to allow. What I can tell you is that the better you hit the ball, the less you will have to allow. I will allow less than a beginner. Ronnie O'Sullivan will hit the ball uh, a little bit better than I do, so he will allow less than me. It's all a question of how well you hit the ball. Now again, I'm asked the question, what do you mean by hitting the ball well? Well, it's timing, it's relaxation here, it's allowing the cue to do the work, it's getting through the ball, right? That is what I mean by hitting the ball better. So the better you hit the ball, the less you allow. Again, left hand side, let's see what happens to the white ball. And watch it kick wide. The first one was here, this one's over there. Obviously the more side you put on, the more it will kick. Needs a lot of practice, a lot of experience. What I'm trying to say is, please, if you're, you're a beginner, don't try to run before you can walk. Learn to hit that ball well. Learn to get through the ball. Increase your timing and your ability. These shots will then start to become quite natural. Okay? Good luck with your practice. <laughs>